We'll begin with the Battle of Cedar Crest Boulevard as the top two teams in the league faced off. 16-1 Parkland squared off against 15-1-1 Emmaus. The Trojans and Green Hornets have combined 31-0-1 in league play this season, with Parkland's only setback of the year coming against District 1's Conestoga at the end of September, while Emmaus entered with a 16-match unbeaten streak after the Hornets dropped their season opener to District 3's Cumberland Valley all the way back on August the 26th. 16 straight shutouts ever since for John Kerry's crew, the second longest streak in state, state history. Hornets and Trojans entered Wednesday's matchup having outscored their opposition 153-12 to so far this season. Home team struck first yesterday, 11th minute, when senior Ryan Kiernan delivers a perfect through ball to fellow classmate Elijah Miller, who finds the back of the net for his sixth goal of the year. Assist number six this season for Kiernan to go along with a team high 17 goals. Trojans with a tremendous chance to tie it midway through the first half, but Logan Thrash's header is denied by Emmaus keeper Colin Wilson. Rebound then cleared out of harm's way by Dolan Allport. Green Hornets up 1-0 at the break. Five minutes into the second half. The Green Hornets double their advantage when junior Kyle Mattern converts his eighth goal of the season. Just the second time this fall that Parkland has allowed more than a single goal in a game. Five minutes later, the Trojans surrender another one. Corner kick for Emmaus. The ball is cleared to the top of the 18 by Parkland, but Ethan Irvin strikes a one-time volley to the corner of the net, making it 3-0, sixth of the year for the senior in Irvin. Green Hornets then two minutes away from making history with their 17th straight clean sheet. The Parkland Sam Mazenheimer scores on a direct kick from distance to end the shutout streak. Goals in five straight games now for the senior, who's found the back of the net 10 times in total this season, but too little too late for the Trojans as Emmaus prevails 3-1. to one. The home team really aided by a fast start last night. We knew that we could, if we get one, we can usually pour it on people and on the team. So to get that first one and get the like the ball rolling meant a lot. I got the ball and I noticed that their outside back was leaning more toward. He thought I was going to play it on the outside, but then I saw Miller making a great run in the inside. So I slipped it between the two defenders right onto Miller's foot, and I knew he was going to finish it. That was an amazing pass. I mean, Ryan's a great player. Uh, we played since we were like kids together in the backyard with neighbors. So I just knew that he'd find me. That was a great pass, and I just had to hopefully finish and. Did that. Coming in the postseason off this win, I think we're all going to be really fired up and we're going to come out hard. 